This is why it's reasonable that Tesla stock is down and why I think the stock market is reasonable with its decision to sell Tesla stock. You see, there's a difference between rational and reasonable. If you are extremely exhausted and hungry, it is reasonable to give into the temptation to eat junk food. If you feel depressed, it is reasonable to give into temptation to sleep in and do nothing. If you are drunk, it is reasonable to sell all of your Tesla stock. And of course, when you see couples going through divorce, it is reasonable that one of them would say, that cheating bastard is getting nothing. I'm destroying all of our wealth, even if that means I'm getting less or nothing, but he's not getting anything. And of course, the most important one, and I know this is going to be a very controversial one, and I will receive a lot of pushback, so brace yourself for this one. This is going to be a, a controversial opinion. If you have low IQ, it is reasonable to short Tesla stock. I had to do this one, guys. I'm sorry about that. I apologize for absolutely nothing. I stand by that opinion very strongly. You see, if you short Tesla stock, you are trying to out Elon Elon. So here's one of the reasons why the market is selling Tesla stock. Having a reason to do something is very different from being rational. If you look, for example, at Lehman Brothers, which is the biggest bankruptcy in US's history, there was a statement by the CFO, basically number one accountant of Lehman Brothers, our capital position at the moment is strong. This was on September 8, 2008. Do you know then Lehman Brothers collapsed, which at the time was the fourth biggest bank in the US with over $600 billion in assets. And then just a week later, after that strong statement from the CFO, Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. So I understand when the bears say there's a demand issue, there's a demand issue, there's a demand issue. I'm selling Tesla stock. I'm waiting until 120, 140, or I'm shorting Tesla stock. I think it's going down to whatever, $20 per share or lower. Unfortunately, the history is filled with bad examples how companies can go out of business while they enjoyed a moment of complete domination, but that's not just companies that did very well for a time, but also complete frauds and scams. This is Elizabeth. If you haven't heard of her, she was on the billionaire list of Forbes for quite a significant amount of time. Sentencing is currently pending, according to Wikipedia right here, and she supposedly created this revolutionary technology that would be able to test your blood using very small volumes of blood, such as just, you know, from your finger. By 2015, Forbes had named Holmes the youngest and wealthiest self-made female billionaire in America on the basis of a $9 billion valuation of her company. Hey, look, am I saying that Elon Musk is a fraud? Definitely no. If that is the case, Elon, you completely got me. I really don't think that is the case. When I look at Elon, I don't see behavior that would tell me he is a fraud. One thing that also makes me trust Elon a lot more, this is a video of Elon Musk from more than two decades ago. Now, obviously I've got a million dollars. I really thought he was gonna say, I got a beautiful wife, but... Our car and 
quite a few creature comforts. It's just a moment in my life. <laughs> All clear. Look at it. My values may what? have changed, but I'm not consciously aware of Big my one. values having changed. My fear is that we become spoiled brats, that we lose a sense of appreciation and um, perspective. <laughs> A year ago, Musk sold his software company, Zip2, which enabled newspapers to publish online for $400 million cash. Receiving cash is cash. I mean, those are just a large number of Ben Franklin. So, I think from that clip, you can see that Elon perhaps went through a phase where he was not maybe the most humble. And I think when you come into wealth quickly or when you make a lot of money almost everyone goes through that but when you look at Elon Musk now we of course remember Elon sleeping on a factory floor and I think Elon is just simply humble at this point and the mainstream news generally negative about Tesla's earnings and of course stock dropped and it remains low today. Will Tesla stock drop down as much as the headcount of Twitter when Elon Musk takes over? I personally don't think so, but the, the market having its irrational reasons, anything is possible. So I believe the stock market always has its reasons. And then I look at, for example, sales I had before about over, way over a thousand uh, calls that you could call sales calls, consulting calls, uh, were, they were all over an hour long. And you could clearly anticipate and see what people would do before they would do it. Like when you do something many times over, you just see the patterns and the reasoning behind people's actions, even when those actions on the surface make no sense. So I personally don't like calling the stock market stupid or, you know, unreasonable. I think it's very reasonable and we have to expect that. But this is great for us long term Tesla stock investors, because now I'm buying Tesla stock at even higher discounts. Also, I personally don't try to, when I look at Tesla stock, when I'm analyzing Tesla stock for myself, I like to assume that every Tesla bear is actually smart and I listen to them carefully. Because if I lock myself in this position where I'm just rejecting all of the bear arguments, that would lead me to missing what could possibly be happening and then maybe I would make a mistake with my Tesla stock holdings, which I don't want to do. If there are bad news, I want to know what are the bad news and then I want to have a very strong argument. So when I hear a Tesla bear having an argument why the stock will drop lower, I want to hear what they have to say. I know what you're thinking. Why are you showing this tweet to me from a cat? I'm sorry if you like dogs, but this cat looks pretty interesting. At least what this cat is saying. Uh, it's about FSD. You guys know if you watch this channel, I believe Tesla stock will at least minimum 10x because of full self driving and a lot of the money that Tesla is getting from FSD is not being recognized as profit, not yet. If it wasn't for the stupidity of other people, we wouldn't be so rich, said billionaire Charlie Munger to his business partner, also a billionaire Warren Buffett. Now, I personally like to not use words such as stupid or try to use less of those and instead we use words like reasonable but not rational because that at least when i'm doing analysis for myself maybe when i'm making a video of course it's more fun to, to say oh this this uh person that is shorting tesla stock for example is stupid that's fun to say but 
it closes, it could close your mind a little bit. So I prefer to use the words reasonable, but not rational. So if someone is reasonable, but not rational is my prefer is my preferred way to go because that keeps my mind a little bit more open to what they are saying instead of just immediately just rejecting their whole idea right off the bat. However, you want to take advantage of that irrationality. That's when you can make a lot more money. And looking back, that's when I did make a lot of money. Everyone was freaking out. And if you held Tesla stock for multiple years, you did well. These are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla stock. My name is Matt Posius, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.